and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Orzov Sacrifice is what I'm calling this deck. This specific deck here was a 5-0 list uh, posted from Magic Online from um, the July 15th post that looked really interesting. And I've I've changed up the sideboard a little bit, but not a lot. And I also changed up the mana base just a tiny bit because there was there was like seven swamps, six planes. I thought maybe we need some more swamps in the deck. And, you know, I don't know if we need... I didn't know if we needed uh, 18 white sources, <laughs> considering we barely had any white cards. Um, but I... I ended up just keeping keeping like the main deck the same. It's just all like these four ofs with the thirty Lilianas. So this is a pretty interesting looking deck. So I'm calling it Sacrifice because we have the Priest of Forgotten Gods, where we are sacrificing a creature. Play Crafter is all about sacrifice. Cavalier of Night, we need to sacrifice another creature, and then we also have Liliana that can make both creatures sacrifice a creature. So it seems like a pretty good sacrifice deck. But yeah, like we have so we have Priest of Forgotten Gods that. Um, we have like some other cheap creatures that are good ones to, of course, sacrifice, and maybe you can add mana, help us ramp into like these bigger things. Cavalier of Night looks really interesting with Plague Crafter and with Midnight Reaper. Like both of these are awesome cards to get back with Cavalier of Night. Maybe Priest of Forgotten Gods is too. Um, and, uh, you know, so like that, that looks like pretty interesting to do with like how that you can return something CMC three or less. And of course we can have like some, some, creatures here to sacrifice to the Cavalier Knight's ability or like Chupa, you know, sacrificing Chupacabras is, is perfectly reasonable. Soren can bring some stuff back. You know, I like the being able to go play crafter, make them sacrifice something, play Soren minus three, being, bring back play crafter, be able to keep the Soren around kind of thing. Um, yeah. Gutter bones. The original deck list had four gutter bones in the sideboard. Um, which I guess was, yeah, like, yeah, it had, like, four gutter bones in the sideboard, and so, like, I'm putting in, like, Gideon and Plague Mares instead. I think Plague Mare could be a good a good card to have against people that go wide, so it would make our sacrifice effects better. Um, but, yeah, it had, it had four Plague Mare here instead of, like, these Gideons and Plague Mares. Um, anyway, uh, Hunted Witness, like, I kind of felt like, well, this is a weak card. Like, why don't we play, like, Tithe Taker? Or, you know, something better, or even uh, um, the vampire, the 1-1 one, one vampire that's just 2 mana that lets you draw a card. It's a 2-mana a 1-1 one, one ETB draw a card. I was like, well, we could just play that. We could draw a card. We can sacrifice it. But honestly, just getting the two bodies is probably really important. You get to sacrifice Hunted Witness twice because we have so many sacrifice things. So that's probably pretty important. And Orzhov Enforcer actually... Is actually probably pretty good. Like, think about like these Simic Flash decks or the Jun Dinosaur decks. Not, like, those decks are not playing very much removal, but they have very big creatures. Like, keeping their ambusher from being able to attack you, or like their, uh, or their, their cutthroat, or anything like that. Um, so that that's a pretty interesting one. Midnight Reaper, of course, get, lets us draw a whole lot of cards. Whenever all of our creatures are dying, we're drawing cards. Uh, so we get to hit a whole bunch of land drops with that. I don't know. This just seems like an interesting deck to try out. I We're not going to be good against, like, combo. You know, like, Nexus is just going to run us over. We have, like, Duress, and that's it. Like, don't even have any Disenchant effects, no Disparks or anything like that. Uh, we're just going to be trying to grind out other mid-range decks. Um No, I no you no you'd rather have you'd rather have hunted witness than the the two drop that makes a two two when it dies because being one mana is a is a really big deal over two mana when it whenever you're just going to be sacrificing the thing anyway it doesn't matter if you're if you make a two a two two or a one one whenever it dies the the one mana is a big deal. Um. But yeah, this is this is a cool cool looking little deck here. I'm really excited to try. Like, I really like Midnight Reaper, or so so Priest, Midnight Reaper, Playcrafter, Chupacabra, Cavalier of Night. These are all cards that I think are pretty strong, and so we're just going full out and just playing four of all of them. And so I'm interested to see how it works. All right, enough talking about the deck. We're going over to the traditional constructed queue, and gonna go ahead and play this in a league here. That's kind of trying this deck out. <clears throat> let's
let's let's try this thing out. Let's see how it does. Hey, Eric. Yeah, I'm having a good day. Hope you are as well. All right, reasonable hand. Midnight Reaper's good. Hmm. Not ideal to just draw land to land back to back. Now that we have we have six lands already. And if only we had Plague Mare main deck. This would be a great time for Plague Mare. Well, this is still unbeatable. <laughs> I mean, I guess if they don't, if they don't have any lands, this is not doing too much if they don't have lands. Do not test me. Don't you play Cruel Celebrant in the deck? Um, I don't. I don't think there's any cards in the deck that Cruel Celebrant's better than. Like sacrificing Cruel Celebrant, it's it's not a very good card to sacrifice. And there, so if it's if it's not a very good card to sacrifice, you want to get a lot of value. And just just doing a, a couple little pings here and there is not is not really worth it compared to like what all the other cards are like. Either removal. Basically, all of our cards are either removal card draw with reaper or good cards to sacrifice like that's that's all of our cards and celebrant is like doing a little bit of damage to your opponent and gaining a little bit of life is much worse than removal or card draw so yeah it's not in the deck the land shall conquer you you need that that life draining to be really relevant to play Cruel Celebrant. So you need to be a really aggressive deck for Cruel Celebrant because the one, two body isn't very strong. Hmm. How did that block even make sense? I will have like, if your goal is to chump block, you could have blocked the Midnight Reaper and just protected three instead of protected two. Every story is an opportunity for new data. I think you will find my notes. So Tamiyo doesn't plus to grab any lands. Well, that was kind of lucky. I think they they probably should have minus and just grabbed that that land there. <laughs> Your aggression <laughs> what is noted. Mess I've made. This study is over. Playcrafter or Cavalier of Night would be very good. Playcrafter in particular would be awesome. Liliana, of course, would be amazing also. So yeah, Liliana, Cavalier of Night, Playcrafter, any of those cards would be very good. I guess we'll just take a choop. Got two troops here. People's 
Favorite over order at Ben and Jerry's, get two chups. Places. Boo. All right, draw some more cards. Darn, those are those are not very good cards. Embrace the bloodlust. Alright, so they take six, go down to three. We're gonna draw four cards. We don't even lose life, of course, because our Midnight Reapers have life link thanks to the Sorens. We don't even lose life. Okay. So let's start killing things. No, no, if we were if we were at one life, the Reaper's damage wouldn't kill you, kill us, no, because the the damage and lifelink happen at the same time. Alright, so just triple stone random. That's not gonna, protect the virtue of this world. That's not gonna do very much here. Harness the elements. This cat? Like you, so you get you start with this cat by by doing the. Um, I don't know whatever it's, whatever it's called the mastery pass. You get that cat, and then it's just once when you level up enough on the mastery pass. I think level forty, I think, is whenever you get you upgrade to the uncommon cat. I think I'm at like forty five or forty six or something like that. And then there's a, there's one more cat. There's a rare cat at like level eighty or something like that. So yeah, one plague mare to be able to kill the land war elves and stuff. And then finale of eternity is pretty good you know starting at like five mana kills you know like mana creatures kills like the i can kill a lot of things there's not really cards that are too bad in this matchup though i wonder if maybe let's just play one plague mirror because plague mirror is awesome against land war elf but it's oh they got they have paradise druid though too okay we'll get we'll get two of these what card am i taking out here though like, Enforcer is probably my worst card, but we do, you know, we need the good creatures to sacrifice. I think we'll cut one Liliana, one Enforcer, one... Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess we're going to trim a cavalier. And another enforcer. No, one play crafter. Hey, Veer Day. With that tier 3 sub yet again, y'all get your hype in the channel for Veer Day there. Four months of quality MTG content. Well, thank you so much, Veer Day. So, yeah, you get your, for being a tier 3 sub, you get your free, you get your donation mm -hmm. deck. So, yeah, whenever you have your donation deck, you just let me know, like always. Tell me what your deck is and what, uh, what day you want me to play and all that kind of stuff. No, no hurry, no rush. Just whenever you'd like. Doesn't expire. Um, I'm not sure how, my, how many gems it costs for the pass. I think like 3,200, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Matthew. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah, I play. Yeah, I like playing random fun decks like that. Absolutely. They both look good. Well, send them both to me, Beer Day. Definitely wish we had Plague Mare here. It's been a great, would have been a great draw for Hunted Witness, of course. But yeah, next turn we can like play Crafter. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Make them sacrifice a couple of things. Certainly glad we brought in the Plague Mares. Just too high of a curve right now. If we had one more mana, we'd be able to play the Soren and get back Playcrafter. That would have been nice. Okay, we'll take it. It's a good card, especially if we draw draw land. We could do some, yeah. If we draw a land here, we could do some really cool things with Cavalier of Night. Yeah, Hunted Witness was a good draw there. Behold, nature's true power. Now hoping for, hoping for a land. Hmm. That does get rid of that thing, though. Not bad. If we would have drawn a land there, then I could have would have been able to just play Soren here. Be wary of the ground you walk on. No, come on, attack. Alright. So we're going to Cavalier of Night. Oh no. Ugh. Man, that we were gonna wreck them so bad without disdainful stroke there, because Cavalier of Night was gonna destroy one 
one land. The priest was going to make them sacrifice the other land. And then we were going to sacrifice the Cavalier of Night, return the Plague Crafter, make them sacrifice the Nyssa. So do I let them ultimate Nyssa? If I make this attack, they can have the forest block the enforcer and then they get to ultimate Nyssa. Do we have to stop the ultimate? Yeah, we probably do, don't we? The land shall conquer you. To pretend. Do not underestimate my fortitude. For a drink. All right, we should have this. Man, this deck is sweet. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Uh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Was gonna Liliana minus away the two forests. This is a tough decision. Yeah, we we need to just do this. If they didn't block the priest, then I would have uh, minus and grabbed back the death touch creature. But obviously they, they blocked the priest. I have survived worse than you. If I were you, oh, 
I do love a good death whale. Stop! Vampirism is a useful trait. My elemental friend. Ugh, looks like you're on your own now. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. A little death never hurt anyone. Is that cool? I demand servitude. <clears throat> Dead. Pretty sweet looking deck, if you ask me. This looks like a fun new toy. Boom! This deck is nice. Ooh, that was awesome. That was just a really cool match. I think I'm gonna have to put this under the the favorites category just because of that match. That was an awesome match. <laughs> yeah, that was like these cards are just are just pretty sweet and they all work so well together. I like what we got going on here. Yeah, this deck's right up my alley. <laughs> Orzhov land destruction, basically. Sure. Oh, we're fine against Ritual of Soot. You know, we have like our creatures that, you know, we have like the creatures with the afterlife and stuff, and Midnight Reaper draws cards, Soren brings stuff back. We got expensive cards. We're, we're fine against Ritual Soot. Hey, Roby! Welcome back. Thanks for that continued support there. Uh, sub goal. There we go. Today's fifth sub of the day. So they've used two shocks so far. Oh, I guess I guess I should be playing this first. Forgot about the lifelink thing. All right, I could have gained one life with that lifelink there. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. Give me this back. Accept the darkness within. All right, I could be at eighteen. Um, I don't know if this deck's expensive to make or not. Uh, I have a. Decent amount of rares and mythics. You got Midnight Reaper, Soren at rare, Cavalier of Night, Liliana at mythic. So that's kind of about it there for rares and mythic as far as Arena is concerned. Basically, everything else is justice. common and uncommons. So seven mythics. Oh, Priest of Forgotten Gods also. So 12, 12 rares, seven mythics in the main. Share in my light. Sideboard, you can probably switch stuff up if you need to. What a mess I've made. Playcrafter, awesome. Uh, Anasazi. Welcome to the channel. You are a rock star. Thanks for that support there. Burning Prophet. This is just... This is just the two-for-one special. That's all this deck is. It's just a bunch of two-for-ones. Rude.
That's what I'm calling this deck. The two for one special. I abhor my need for blood. Yeah, you got it. Two, four, one. Special. Um, I would say that you'll probably have more success with Gruel Dinosaurs. If I were to pick out like a consistent deck, I would choose that over Arclight Reanimator. Oh, that's true. The dinos do rotate soon. Yeah, that's true. The Arclight deck has a lot less rotating for it. <laughs> Time for a drink. So I want to get Midnight Reaper back with the Soren, but not with Soren being at three loyalty. This is a budget feather deck. Yeah, it's unfortunate. What would be a good deck to transition into from mono blue? I mean, I guess Simic Flash. That's like the next, that's like the other mono blue type deck. Um, another option is like drakes you know drakes aren't super well positioned but that's another option there <laughs> the deck is as light as a feather I see what you did there thanks Veerday I did not see the list earlier yeah Simic Flash is the wolves deck Yep. Now I want to see a second Liliana. <laughs> so how about a third Liliana? We are a black cat. Yeah, I did say I didn't want two. So they're like, oh, take the third then. We only have three in the deck, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to make it four.
So, Veer Day, when do you want me to play your decks? They both look good. I'll, I'll play them both for you. Do you want me to do like one tomorrow, one the next day? Or is there like later on, do you want me to do it? Anytime's fine. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just fit them in then. I suppose that's a thing. I forgot to play around Divine Arrow. Just like Gideon. Such a sad picture. Oh yeah, this thing's just hexproof from black. I can actually block it though. I'm not going to attack into another Divine Arrow. We'll just play the Cavalier Knight first. Uh, Gruel can't be countered is not really a thing, but it, it could be. There's enough cards there. So you could basically make it a deck. You got Domri, Rhythm of the Wild... Shifting Ceratops, Chandra, Carnage Tyrant. Veil of Summer, of course. We gotta do what we can do to stay alive the most that we can. You know if that makes sense. We've gotta be able to play Liliana next turn. So we gotta we gotta be above two life, preferably above four life, so they can't just shock and kill me. After I shock, we don't want to do the I shock, you shock, we all shock and I die, kind of thing. So gained a life, because Cavalier, of course, has lifelink. So all we got to do is play this and start minusing. <laughs> Divine arrows for Rhaegal. Oh, poor Rhaegal. Ugh. Well... Ah, uh, we're fine. Yeah, we can get rid of all these. We got Playcrafter. Dude, Playcrafter is sweet. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. You will be more useful in the grave. Yeah, and we draw two cards. Yeah, Liliana's like perfect here also, because yeah, we get to draw cards. They were left. I'll find a use for you later. <laughs> Man, our deck's sweet. Yeah, I like Playcrafter 
more than Gatekeeper Malakar kicked because... Oh, man, but Gatekeeper Malakar kicks sticks around. I was going to say that Playcrafter takes out Planeswalkers. Yeah, give me that Priest of Forgotten Gods. I've learned much from your death. Waste not, want not. I shouldn't have played that shine. Godless Shrine yet. I mean, it's it's doubtful that we're going to need all this mana, but you never know. Death. They were a lousy servant anyway. So many Chupacabras. Do, do, do. We had the two we had the very rare two three four hand. Two Lilianas, three Chupacabras, four swamps. The very, very rare two three four hand. You do not see that one very often. Yeah, Chupacabras are not going to be... Like, those are rotating out. Hmm. If only we had white mana. Let's just mulligan. Bold. Can I just have the seven card hand back? Oh no, we got a mirror match. I don't know what to do in a mirror match. Well, I'm glad we have our Midnight Reapers. That's certainly a card that can make up for us mulliganing to Oblivion. Rude. This isn't a fight you can win. No, I am not making this up as I go. I've got time. Want to get the Midnight Reapers in play before we go play Crafter, because then our play Crafters draw cards also. Don't worry, I got this. Hunter Witness is pretty nice. That was a good draw. Darn. Definitely wanted to slam Liliana here. I don't know if, like, if they're playing Kaya's Wrath, does that mean they don't really have creatures, so they just play a Chupacabra? They're playing Draw from Dreams, they're probably not playing creatures. land I 
requires servants. Your court will be putrid, but effective. We have a whole lot of cards still. Certainly wish I would have just kept the seven card hand instead of the five. But we'll see. If they just tuck Liliana, then we should be able to just kill Teferi. You need to slow down. This is hardly my worst defeat. Let me remind you to fear those born of darkness. You belong to Kinda me. wish I would have just thrown the Chupacabra out there before. If they're playing like Command the Dread Horror, that'd be horrible for me, obviously. Hope they aren't. Oh yeah, didn't get my life link on there. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Trust me, I have a plan. I'm glad they didn't bounce Othakaya and kill my Soren. I'm also glad I saved the Chupacabras. So never mind, playing perfectly. Saving Chupacabra. It's only a matter of time. And suddenly we're starting to outgrind them. They got six cards. Now they got five cards, we got five cards. They just three for one dust, and now we still have the same number of cards. Five, five. We got a Soren. I have practiced again. I have just the trick for this. Elder spell, huh? Oh, so the Kefnet. Yeah, the Kefnet went down to the bottom because the Narset. It's just better to get Midnight Reaper in play. Which I guess I should have done before playing Playcraft or I would have drawn a card. Wow. That's bad. Alright, well now they now they crushed us. Hey, what's up, Evo? Thanks so much for that sub there. Started getting that. Yeah, so I kind of decided to go with the getting rid of Soren a little too late there. I am the master here. <laughs> Man, that Cry of the Carnarium was so rough. Kai's Wrath's not so bad. Cry of the Carnarium, that wrecked us. Understand. 
I will rise again. Ethar itself serves me. This is over now. I basically that that last turn, not the Liliana turn, but the turn before. I basically threw that whole that whole turn away. Like that that turn lost me the game. How I played that turn. Like not keeping or not keeping Playcrafter in hand. Like using the Playcrafter on the Narset. Uh, if I could have just done that whole turn over again, I wish I would have just attacked the Narset, ticked up the Soren. I threw I threw that all away because of Cry of the Carnarium. I don't think we have much of a chance anymore. Like we're we're not going to beat Ugin, taking up here. It's not. We came back for a while after the Mulligan to five, but I I played that turn really bad in the Cry of the Carnarium. Secrets manifest before you. Let's no time for a break. Drawn from Dreams is really, really good. Okay. So yeah, do not want Priest of Forgotten Gods or Ravenous Chupacabra at all. We still have a lot of other ways to kill creatures. It's not like we need the Chupacabras. Command the Dread Horde will be awesome. Basically, Hunted Witness isn't so great. Cavalier of Night's not so great. Cavalier of Night's okay, though. It's just expensive. You know, we can't just have everything cost like this kind of mana. Let's cut one Cavalier of Night. And then uh, these things, Enforcers and Witnesses. Um, which I guess Enforcer costs two, Witness costs one. So we'll just trim Enforcers then. Our deck's going to be a lot better against Cry of the Canarium here after Cyborg. Now, Finale, I don't know if they'll have that many creatures for Finale to destroy. We don't know if our opponent's playing Dreadhorde or not. But our deck, our deck just doesn't pressure life total a whole lot. Like, that's just not what our deck is. I mean, it's... It would be nice if I could pressure the life total more, but it, it just... I don't know if that's too realistic. Ooh, we can have a black and white cat. That's what we need for this deck. Hey, Eyes and F, it's going really good. Playing a pretty fun deck here. Uh, I did... We do have two Command the Dread Hordes in the sideboard, and we, we brought them in. There's two of them in, in the deck right now. Bell haunts are pretty nice here. Yeah, trade with the Teferi. Give me that all day. All right, in case of Kaya's Wrath, I'm gonna play the other Midnight Reaper instead of just playing another Bell Hunt. If I just play another Bell Hunt, then they Kaya's Wrath, and I'll feel bad. Smart. The gods 
bless us in our righteous cause. I will lend you my strength. Looks like they had, so they had, looks like they had a lot of lands. I'm surprised they discarded that other Teferi instead of a land. I mean, at the time, did they only have four lands? They would have had to at least have five lands already, right? Cage does a really good job of shutting me down. Cage stops Soren, Cavalier of Night. Stops a lot of things. I believe in you, friend. So Gideon, I can have Gideon minus and take out Azkanta or Cage. I think it's probably got to be Cage. Azkanta can be a lot of cards for them, but so can all of these other things for me. They're at two. What am I doing? All right, two. I can get rid of the Suscanta. Just kill them. I guess they could just draw Elder Spell now. I guess maybe I should have played the creature. Because Elder Spell. <laughs> Fine. Are they gonna just top deck a wrath now? You're gonna just keep on drawing the one card that the card that survives keeps them alive for that turn. Okay, that could get him cry the carnarium. Those who cannot just keep an open mind. That won't do it. All right, game three. I am not going to sit this one out. That's more like it. Well, Grafdigger's Cage could really shut me down. I'm hoping for no Grafdigger's Cage. I only have Gideon's ultimate ability. It's like the only thing I have to take it out. Don't love having two six drops, but the rest of this hand's good, so we'll keep it. Keep the land. <laughs> Rude. Oh my gosh. What's the worst possible card we could draw? Or one other Command the Dread Horde? That only costs six mana, but also dead. Obviously, the best card they could have there is Cry the Carnarium. 
Wow, this this could not go any worse. Cage as Kanta cry. Not a gone worse. The past, present, and to meditate and prepare. So they're not hitting land drops. Darn. Shouldn't have said anything. But of course, the Ascanta flip, which is coming soon, will get them there. This isn't your average zombie flip. Smelly, but effective. I'm glad they ditched the Dispark. I do not want it. I do not want the Liliana exiled. I'm known for my excellent timing. Let's take it back. You just let me know if you're up for round two. There are so many mysteries. This isn't a fight you your can prowess. Win. Hurry! Because Command can still get Planeswalkers. Even with Cage in play. Cage only stops creatures. So I forgot about that for a minute, but then realized that. Whenever I was like, oh, they could have their Ugin kill my Liliana. And I was like, wait a minute. I can Command back Liliana. before action. So could tuck as Kanta, could tuck Graftiger's cage. Probably do not want. Probably don't want Ascanta to flip. Reverse. I am kind of worried about like playing Soren or Liliana, and them just having, and then having Elder Spell. So I don't really want to play one of my Planeswalkers. Because of Elder Spell. I won't really forget have seen that coming. So I have eight mana. Don't have enough to Soren for. Oh wait, this thing has Life Link anyway. So cool. That's good. Go to one. I came into being. Sorry, I'm late. Your kind ever yeah, you're a little late. Truth lies beyond vision. Not so fast. I'm definitely looking for another Elder Spell.
You have to say I'm really liking this deck that we're playing, though. Let's get our black and white cat. We need to move quickly. That that wasn't like an auto tapper problem. They only have two blue sources, so like, draw for dream costs two blue. Just how they had to tap. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. They took. Wait. Well, maybe they. Huh. So do they take Temple off of the Drawn from Dreams? I'll taste your neck. You taste my leg. Hawkeye okay, was in the way and I couldn't see my land, so I didn't even try to untap the lands. Yeah, that's that's you right there, Hawkeye. That's you right there. We will meet again on the one day. My army will envelop. Let's reduce the battle. I'll find a use for you. Hmm. All right, pretty sweet deck here. Three no. Yeah, this deck's awesome. Hey, Vitellius. As long as we don't play against Nexus of Fate. Man, this deck can grind. What is going on? What was that? Are y'all hearing that? Sounds like the ocean. There we go. Ooh, Naya Feather. While our hand may not be very good for Naya Feather right now, I think overall I like... I kind of like our matchup here against Naya Feather with lots of playcrafters. And, um, you know, Priest of Forgotten Gods and stuff like that. Liliana's sacrifice. We have a lot of sacrifice stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Radical Guru. It was a such a cool deck yet again. Missing some cards, but not sure what to craft. 
because I've played too many cool decks. Slow down a bit. <laughs> Strife is monsters of us all. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> what a mess I've made. I do play all the fun decks here. Shocking Hunted Witness. That's a feels bad. I march into battle as your champion. Of they should justice. play Feather and then shock their Feather so they can put the shock back in their hand. Your light will cleave the darkness. It's a good card to have, but it's pretty late. Like, we're going to play, like, Liliana next turn, and then we'll have that for after Liliana. That's still probably good to have, though. I demand servitude. Hey, Ferox. Welcome to the channel. This is like their ideal hand, though, right? Turn two, Season of Growth. Turn three, Dreadheart Arcanist with protection. And then Gideon with more protection. Feather. I feel like that's their ideal hand. Dead make great minions, loyal and silent. So Hunter Witness does make white tokens also. So if I just if I just uh, minus one the Soren. To bring back another blocker, they can, you know, way. give their Gideon protection. Waste not with death is enlightening. I am whole. That was a good hit. They're going to just draw so many cards of these Season of Growths. And 
this card has been really impressive. Season of Growth has. They were a lousy servant anyway. I hope they've already played a land. I hope they're tapped out. I will lend you my strength. Hope I get to Chupacabra. My strength my gave out. They got four cards still. Let's see what we can do. Darn. That's definitely unfortunate. Really want a Priest of Forgotten Gods to stick around. It's gonna be really hard to outgrind these things. These these three seasons. Yeah, every pump spell is ancestral recall. It's just We want to draw Playcrafter, Cavalier of Night, Liliana. <sighs> yeah, I wish we had a Maelstrom Pulse for those. We have Blast Zone put on two. I guess we got the Priest of Forgotten Gods, though. We just have, like, infinite scrying and infinite draw. Everything is just scry or draw. <laughs> no, I don't have enchantment destruction. It's just, it's so much filtering. How are we supposed to beat these cards? We're a long ways away from milling them out. We'll be long dead before that. You know, for us, just drawing cards the hard way, drawing nine Prepare nine lands, battle. certainly put a damper on our proceedings. Curse you and your. 
progeny. So many lands. Why can't we scry three for every single little thing that we do? I, mean, I kind of like everything that we have going on here. I'm just not... Not with all those lands. You know, duress is of course reasonable. Plague Mare is great against a Danto Vanguard, but kind of just Danto Vanguard. And then we have Finale. Which could be good, but we don't really have necessarily like some bad cards to take out. There's not really cards that I really want to take out. Maybe Cavalier of Night. We can trim one. Let's get these finales in. And I'm gonna take out one one troop, one cavalier for the finales. We're going to hopefully do a better job of drawing spells, specifically Playcrafter. Royal Flush is going really well. Yeah, Duress, Duress could be really good. But I don't, you know, just kind of looking at, like, the cards in there, I don't really know where we'd fit Duress in. Because we have to keep our creatures that we want to sacrifice. Because this is like a matchup where we really need to sacrifice stuff. We got priests. Priests are definitely good. Boo. They can't be playing that many shocks, right? Yeah, we've played a couple of long leagues so far. Like, this deck is taking a while. Well, good thing we have the Scry Land, because that would have been a really bad draw step. I am here to aid in the assault. I believe in you, friend. My 
sword is your death knell. You belong to me now. Ugh. Embrace the I'm getting Liliana in play right now. Warrior Queen Necromancer. So using the using the ramp ability from the priest. They have Paradise Druid also? Hmm. Maybe I should be playing Plague Mare. No, I don't think Desecrated Doom would really work that well in the deck. I think it would just water down the deck. I think Desecrated Tomb is the kind of card that would only be really good whenever you have everything else going for you already. All right, so two Plague Mares, one over an Enforcer, one over a Midnight Reaper. Try that. Try to get some Adanto Vanguards and Paradise Druids out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, Matthew, I'm not going to give Hawkeye that many treats, or treats every time we get the sub goal and everything. Yeah, I don't want Hawkeye to get fat and everything. He's he's doing just fine. He's doing good. He's doing good. We don't even get to play magic. Such a ripoff. Uh, keep these. Just one lander, one lander, seven lands. Hooray, magic.
Hooray, magic. I'll do. Glad we didn't use the Playcrafter last turn. If they don't have any more creatures... Maybe we can get this. We can play craft away this feather. Please don't play a creature. Please don't play a creature. Please don't play a creature. Okay. No creature. Okay. We have a shot. Ooh. I'm really glad they didn't use the Reckless Rage there. Because if they used the Reckless Rage to kill the Playcrafter, then I would have had to discard a card. And so now we get Priest of Forgotten Gods in play and still have our six mana for Liliana. The old Mold of Five, keep five land. Rise and shine. Want not. Ugh. I hope you washed your hands first. All right, let's get this God's willing out of their hand. Scry to the bottom. Scry to the top. but effective. Okay. From battle to grave. Liliana is so good against this feather deck. Dad, so good. We're, a lousy servant anyway. we're doing it. We are doing it. We did it. Orzov Snacrifice is 4 and 0. Oh. All right. It's a doggy 4 and 0. Oh. Told you all Playcrafter Liliana really good in that matchup and you know we got to play both of those to take out feathers. It's exactly what we want to be doing. All right, let's get our final boss playlist in here. Here we go. We are at the final boss already. Well, the games are kind of taking a while, so maybe not already, but this deck is performing really well. What do you think, Hawkeye? Do you like this deck? 
Okay, like, I want to come check this one out. We need to draw some lands, okay. Can you get us some lands? Yeah, Jesus, this is the this is our final boss playlist whenever we got the four wins going for win number five. Perfect. Good job, Hawkeye. Way to, get, way to give us that first land. Yeah, Soren is, is really key to this deck. Soren's like the reason why we're playing white. Maybe I'm supposed to actually sacrifice the Playcrafter here. No, let's let's do let's do the Enforcer. Sacrificing the Playcrafter would let me soar and bring it back the next turn, and they play another creature. But I want to play Midnight Reaper first. I just want to get Wild Growth Walker out of here, right? Like that's that's a card that like usually I'd want to play <coughs> Reaper first. Hmm. Guess that's maybe a card that. I need to have Playcrafter in this, in there for, maybe not. Cause like they don't they don't have a whole lot of life, right? So like they're probably gonna block They're probably gonna like block the playcrafter here. They're at thirteen. If I play Soren first, I probably even though I get the life link, they're probably less likely to block. They didn't play a land. Would I mind that? They take four, go to nine. I draw a card, I bring back Midnight Reaper. I wouldn't really mind that. So I guess I should I should have played Soren then. If I'm willing to just attack with everything, I should just play Soren first. <clears throat> Yeah, Hawkeye's the sweetest of kitties. You should fear those boys. He's like, what's up, everybody? I require your body, not your soul. Possible they hit the land off Wild Growth Walker and put it into their hand instead of putting it into play so they so they could get the land drop there. Draw. 
draw. Cool. Land drop. All right, so we should be able to take out, I guess, all but one of their creatures. A bunch of sacrificing. Uh, that's unfortunate. Now they get to keep two creatures. Hmm. I demand. All right, so how are we doing for mana now? Five, nine, so I could go Cavalier plus Chupacabra. That's probably the way to go over Liliana. A game on the final boss. Plague Mare is good against Land Werewolf and Risen Reef. And maybe Explore Creatures could be X1s. Kind of sounds like a lot of things. Probably want to be Command the Dread Hoarding in this matchup. Finale of Eternity kills a lot of things. I think Liliana, maybe not as important with having Command the Dread Horde. I think we'd rather have Command. And I guess one Cavalier of Night. And then an Orzhov Enforcer or a Plague Crafter. And one Plague Crafter. Should get these things in here. No, I like Chupacabra a lot. I kind of like all these cards. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't think it's it's not super common that Hawkeye shows up for the final boss. Wait, he went away. Okay, come back. Come here. Here you go, good boy. Well, we got a curve. We don't have like the priest of forgotten gods to make these things real important though.
That's a good one. Hunter Witness just isn't really that valuable on turn one. So I'm just getting the scry in right now and, and looking for something else, you know, like looking for, like I said, like Priest of Forgotten Gods or something like that, Soren. So we're going to have, we'll have Enforcer on two, Midnight Reaper on three, and then Hunted Witness plus Playcrafter on four. Give us another chance to maybe draw Plague Mare. Plague Mare would take out this Walker of Branches. So yeah, Plague Mare, they have Land of War Elf, Risen Reef, and then the Explore creatures could be X1s also. They have some... Hmm. Alright, I feel like they have Cast Down. Uh, I guess I should probably still trade. I think they'll Cast Down Midnight Reaper and then block so I don't get to draw more cards. Or, or they just take it. Alright, that's fine too. <laughs> Tamiyo! Make an excellent informant for my study. Seek and find. Hmm. Well then. So I don't get to draw an extra car another extra card with Midnight Reaper. But I feel like if I if I just attack with Enforcer, there's just a good chance they don't block. But if I send both of those at Tamio, they're probably scared and they block. And so now. Now they sacrifice Tamio and not sacrificing Branch Walker. Oh my gosh, I forgot the Tamio you can't sacrifice. Uh Boo. Forgot about that. Whoops. They got me. These stupid planeswalkers and their abilities that I always forget about. Well, that was not ideal. The storied past holds our future. Yeah, that was not ideal. Yep, and they get to command first. That's really rough. The playcrafter getting shut off. Everything about this game has been really rough. It's like we're going to a game three. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I mean, playing Cavalier of Night right now just doesn't make any sense with the double command. I gotta wait. We're just pretty dead. Hey, Aaron. Resubbing for eight great months. Thank you so much there, Aaron. You are amazing. Eighth sub of the day also there.
Yay! That was the best possible block. Two, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Oh, I should be putting stuff on top because of their commands. I just wanted to draw some extra lands. I definitely do not want them to get that card. Okay, maybe we're not dead. Maybe we're not dead. I thought we were dead for sure. I know, Hawkeye, maybe we're not dead. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Dark fin. Rawr. That's it, that's a scoop. Ferocious heart Hawkeye. That is the five win league. Got a rare, got a mythic. <laughs> and an uncommon. Arx Jelly. Yeah, this deck was awesome. I like this deck a whole lot. The 5 0. And like winning games that we thought that we were going to be losing. We got to do some really cool stuff. Yeah, I loved our main deck, honestly. Sideboard is still kind of, I don't know, a little wish-washy. Basically, I'm not sure about these finales. They, I think the finales were like our worst card. Um, yeah, I probably just would, wouldn't recommend playing finale. Maybe, maybe to spark. For basically... Something that's good against like wilderness reclamation. It's like maybe like to sparks for that matchup. Be, um, but I don't know if you need like just like I'd be worried like putting to sparks in the sideboard. People will probably be sideboarding them in too much. <laughs> just playing the deck. I don't. I don't think I'd want to play it like against Esper, for example. But I don't. I don't think this. These finale of eternities don't really seem worth it. The plague mare was was pretty good. I liked plague mare quite a bit. But yeah, basically we just don't need finale. So it's like whatever card you want. I'm kind of thinking to spark for the wilderness reclamation matchup because that'd be like one matchup that I would really be worried about beating. Maybe that can help you out. But honestly, you're probably just losing that matchup. So maybe you like don't even need to sparks there because you probably are just leave, losing that. Maybe like some Legion's End against like the aggro decks or something. I don't know. A couple of Disparks could be good. Maybe Bindings. Ixalan's Binding. Yeah, Ixalan's Binding's a good one too. That's a good one. Costs a little bit more mana, but that's a good one. No, I don't think you really need Kai's Wrath in here. But yeah, pretty awesome looking deck here. Now, I wouldn't want Prism Realm because you'd want it because Prism Realm doesn't exile enchantments. You'd want something for Wilderness Reclamation uh, that can also just do other things. Where Ixalan's Binding can also just do other things. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind Ixalan's Binding either or to Spark. But anyway, this deck was really cool. Uh, Playcrafter Soren. Priest, Midnight, like these, these cards were all like, as we talked about at the beginning, like they're all very good cards that just don't see a lot of play. They don't really have a home. Speaking of home, I guess that's the name of the song. Um, 
but they were really impressive. The Hunted Witness was awesome, just being a one mana creature that we got to double spell with, you know, playing like Hunted Witness plus Playcrafter and stuff like that. Because we just want the bodies to sacrifice. So that was awesome being one mana. Enforcer was good being two mana. The Death Touch didn't get to do too much with, but still, those cards that we get to sacrifice and make new new bodies were, were definitely very good. Um, the one mana creature with Hunted Witness also good to bring like bring back with Soren, only losing one loyalty, bring back Hunted Witness, sacrifice the Hunted Witness some more. Liliana was amazing. Cavalier Knight was pretty cool. We got to do some cool stuff with it. Yeah, just a pretty sweet little deck here. I liked it quite a bit. All right, so that's Orzhov Sacrifice. So if you are watching this video later on, I hope you enjoyed this deck as much as I did. This was a sweet one. Uh, definitely hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. <laughs> Must suppress urge to craft. I think I think this main deck is is definitely where you want to be. I think the sideboard like I could see c trimming one Cavalier of Night. If you need to trim a Mythic slot, trim a Cavalier of Night. If you need you know like if you're crafting and you you know you're kind of short on on wild cards, that's the place there that you can maybe trim one. You can trim one or maybe two. As far as Mythics go and sideboard, you can you can play other things. I think Command the Dreadhorde is definitely very good. But if you don't if you don't want to make Gideons, you can, you you do not need to play Gideons. You can play something else. Um, but then all, all the rest of these are uncommons. So yeah, you, you could play whatever whatever else you want to play there. Um, anyway, yeah, there we go. That's Orzov Sacrifice. So thank you so much for watching, if you're watching this later on on YouTube. And I hope to see you for another video.